Almost 1 in 10 people in America suffers from something called depression. Clinical depression is characterized by a persistent state of sadness or depression and or lack of interest in activities. Anyone reading this story may be depressed. Perhaps more than one person reading this article is feeling frustrated. Pennsylvania Senator John Fetterman suffered from depression. Friends and readers, clinical depression is real. It's a bad thing to live with, and many Americans find it so. He went to Walter Reed Hospital and is expected to stay there for several weeks. Fetterman has suffered from depression throughout his life, but only recently has it become severe enough to require hospitalization. Many are proud of it. I am happy about it. It takes a special person to ask for help in this way. But some people are not proud, some people, almost all of the Republicans, think, is it good to lead? Abraham Lincoln suffered from depression. It's okay to ask for help. It's more than good. It is courage, bravery, and intelligence. The only reason Republicans would dare to raise the rights question is that they are trying to politicize this as they do everything else. Winston Churchill suffered from depression. Even some experts insist that they are right to do so. It is important, they insist. Ernest Hemingway suffered from depression. Surprisingly, we don't spend much time wondering if pathological liars are fit for work. If we do, and people say no, most of the Republican Party can quit. Sigmund Freud had depression. It is also surprising that this situation is still abused today. Courage to ask for help. John Fetterman is a beloved senator who has fallen on incredibly difficult times. Now a man with depression who is prone to depression, he finally has a stroke and the politicians are plotting and the media are challenging his mind. Franz Kafka suffered from depression. Depression is all around us. But because so many people in this country have abused it, many don't seek help when they need it. We need to talk more about this issue. What about Fetterman? He gets the help he needs. I hope it will be good. We are all just butterflies, flying in our own universe, creating our own legacy in memory, doing our best. Let's all wish Senator Fetterman the best of luck. Tweet the next time you're on Twitter thanking her for her strength and courage. Let him know he's not alone. And thank him for the courage he has in spite of such challenges.